before we start the actual comparison, let's have a quick look at the three types of Anatolian Shepherd breeds found in Turkey. Number 1 Chivas Kangal. Popularly known as the Kangal Dog. Number 2 The Turkish Boz Shepherd also known as the Gurik. And number 3 The Xare Malaklisi also known as Turkish Mastiff. To understand better let's have a closer look with respect to the head type. We are pretty sure now you would have got a better idea in terms of what type of dog appears in this video. So let's begin. In this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Shiva's Kangal also known as the Kangal Dog and a Dogo Argentino also known as the Argentine Mastiff, we've compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. In imitation factor, as per the breed standards, an adult male Kangal stands at an impressive height of 29 to 32 inches at the withers, and weighs between 50 to 65 kilograms. They are large well-balanced, robust dog that boasts having an impressive sized head. This dog is a powerhouse, known for its impressive size and reputation as an impeccable herding and guard dog, whereas an adult male Dogo Argentino stands at a height of 24 to 26 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are a large, powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy. However, in terms of an imitation, a Kangal appears to be more intimidating than a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Kangal. Kangal 1 Dogo Argentino 0. Powerful and loudest bar? Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <laughs> In our opinion a Dogo Argentino has a powerful bark. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Kangal 1 Dogo Argentino 1. Bite force. Among the two, the Kangal pressure bite topped 743 psi while that of a Dogo Argentino measured 500 psi. So one point to Kangal. Kangal 2 Dogo Argentino 1. AKC Fast Cat Run 2020. The average of three fastest 100 meters dash across the lifetime for a Kangal is 25.84 miles per hour while that of a Dogo Argentino is 28.53 miles per hour. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Kangal 2 Dogo Argentino 2. Temperament. Looking at these two breeds, you won't see a big difference in temperament. They are bright dogs that enjoy doing what they can to offer pleasure to their owners. They are typically overly friendly when they first meet someone and they don't naturally warm quickly to strangers. This aloofness to new people makes them excellent watch dogs. So one point to both. Kangal 3 Dogo Argentino 3. Health and Lifespan. The average life expectancy of Kangal is in between 12 to 15 years. They are known to be a healthy breed thanks to the fact they have been carefully bred. As such they are not known to suffer from the hereditary health issues that seem to affect many other breeds. Whereas the average life expectancy of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years. They are prone to allergies or other skin problems. So Kangal being the healthier of the two. One point to Kangal. Kangal for Dogo Argentino 3. Grooming. A Kangal boasts having short, double coats with a harsher outer coat and a softer, denser undercoat, whereas a Dogo Argentino boasts having a short, dense and glossy coat which makes them low maintenance on the grooming front. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Kangal for Dogo Argentino 4. Exercise and energy levels. Both the breeds are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However in our opinion, in terms of energy levels, a Dogo Argentino has a slight edge over the Kangal. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Kangal for Dogo Argentino 5. Kid friendly. Both the breeds are known to be good around children, because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred even tempered dogs. However both the breeds are not recommended for toddlers because of their great size. So one point to both. Kangal 5 Dogo Argentino 6. Temperament with other dogs and pets. Both the dogs can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly and that no pets get stressed out which could lead to aggressive behavior. So one point to both. 
Kangol 6 Dogo Argentino 7, powerful guard dog, both the dogs come with the badass reputation of being a dangerous guard dog, however in our opinion, a well-trained Kangol is extremely ferocious and a powerful guard dog as compared to a well-trained Dogo Argentino, so one point to Kangol, Kangol 7 Dogo Argentino 7, weather tolerance, the Kangol adapts well to a harsher climate as compared to a Dogo Argentino, so one point to Kangol, Kangol 8 Dogo Argentino 7, average cost to keep on care, the average cost to keep on care for a Kangol is in between $200 to $230 a month and that of a Dogo Dogo Argentino is $150 to $200 a month, so with low cost to keep on care, one point to Dogo Argentino, Kangol 8 Dogo Argentino 8 tolerates being left alone, in case of a Dogo Argentino, they are prone to bark when they are left alone by their owners, whereas the Kangals love being alone. They need their own free time, so one point to Kangol, Kangol 9 Dogo Argentino 8, so the winner between the two guard dogs is the Turkish Lion, King Kangol.